Hey guys, I've been meaning to go over this scene for a while now, but there were so many new things in patch five that I wanted to go over. I figured I'd leave some Astarian for later. And this particular scene is really good. And there are a lot of things to go over, tons of different choices to make. So I'm going to show my favorite path first and then go over some of the other good options as well. Let's take a look. Looking at something. I'm looking too but not seeing very much. Another quirk of my affliction. Preening in the looking glass. Petty vanity. Of course I miss it. I've never even seen this face. Not since it grew fangs and my eyes turned red. I, I don't know. I can't remember. My face is just some dark shape in my past. Another thing I've lost. The whole thing starts with Astarian being a little upset about how he can't see himself. Understandably so, he hasn't even seen how he looks since he was turned into a vampire 200 years ago. Asking him about what color his eyes used to be nets a kind of sad response, considering he can't even remember what color they were. He says it's just another thing he's lost, and it's interesting to note how much different this mentality is than what he usually displays outwardly. Even if you choose the response that it's a small price to pay to get the the power of a vampire, he responds in a way I wouldn't have expected. He says to you, maybe, but to him, it's just another thing Cazador took. It's certainly a much more sentimental attitude from Astarian, one that I personally like to see because it shows that he is multifaceted and there's much more to him than just being a saucy little minx and having power fantasies. I personally love that. But then the time comes for you to be able to turn that sad tide into something much more optimistic. And this is my favorite part here. What? I want to know what the world sees when it looks at me. What you see. Oh, go on. Very good. Now just tell me I'm beautiful and we can call it a day. Observant. Mirrors aren't much use, but being reflected in someone else's eyes? Well, I could do worse. I have to say, I love this whole part where he's asking you what you see. If this were me in real life, I don't know if I could manage being so direct when put on the spot, but I would sure try for a Starian. I like to imagine Tav as this version of me that is super brazen and able to say and do whatever she wants, as me, of course. And so it's no surprise she can just come right out and say all of the handsome features that Astarian possesses. And he, of course, loves to hear it. And even though the direct manner of the questioning makes me blush like a schoolgirl, it's that exact straightforward nature that makes it feel so flirty and romantic. This is just the sort of thing that works for me personally. <laughs> It's also important to note that telling him you'll be his mirror adds that really nice line, his beautiful expression and wanting to know not just how others see him, but how you specifically see him. I am always so partial to the dialogue where it feels like there is more of a connection between the two of you. Some paths just seem so much more intimate and sincere. It makes the buildup of the romance just feel really good, you know? It felt like things got a little off the rails when he wraps up, asking you to tell him he's beautiful as though it's a joke or something. I would have preferred he stayed a little serious here personally, but it's not like it doesn't fit into his normally playful attitude. But his response to you actually saying he's beautiful, oof, it was pretty good. That whole bit about being reflected in someone else's eyes and how he could do worse, oof. And what's really cool is that not only did we get this wonderfully flirty scene, but we also got to cheer him up. He started off feeling down about the inability to see himself in a mirror and ended up getting complimented and feeling pretty good about himself by the end. A good turnout for everyone. The shallow praise dialogue is also really cool, but it's not quite as good in my opinion as telling him he's beautiful. Hardly. There's also gold, sex, revenge, quite the list really. But failing any of those, I will always settle for shallow praise. 
Even when well-meaning, if you pick the other compliments, he doesn't like them as much and even says this. Excuse me, I'm an eternally young vampire, not your doting grandmother. You can do better. What else? The, oh, this is meant to be flattery, not poetry. Just tell me I'm beautiful and we can call it a day. <laughs> A doting grandmother, hmm? He certainly thinks you can do better in terms of compliments. And there are some even better ones you can pick that completely fluster him. I knew there was going to be some comedy gold if I picked some of the insults, and I wasn't disappointed. So here it is, for your perusal, since I know most of you could never dare say such awful things to a Starian. Aging? What do you mean, aging? I'm a vampire. Forever young. My... what? But, but I don't... <clears throat> Excuse me. And there's this, too. What are you talking about? My skin isn't... Is it? <clears throat> Excuse me. <laughs> I felt so bad, but I was cracking up. Can you imagine? It's just like any of those times when someone tells you that you have something on your face, but you can't see it and you keep trying to get it off. But they're like, nope, it's still there. It's always really flustered me. So I found Astarian's reaction adorable and it sucks for him because, you know, ultimately anyone else could just go look in the mirror, but he can't. The poor thing. You can also turn it around too and salvage the insult by telling him that you're kidding and that he looks great. Really? Anything in particular? He even does this flamboyant little spin as if to give you the full package to take in and compliment accordingly. What's even better is you can tell him that he's not quite as good as Gale or Lazel. And while you'd think he would have a poor response, he replies more like he knows you're joking, or at least that's how he took it. <laughs> but the playfulness of his dialogue is just great. How dare you? I thought we had something special. Still... You're nice too. I better get some beauty sleep. It seems I need it if I'm to catch up with the competition. I love that after his indignation, he also compliments you and the line about needing beauty sleep to keep up with the competition is a really nice touch. There's definitely a lot of hints here of a super flirty relationship building between you two. And it makes me wonder if this game is going to have romance flags like Dragon Age does, or if you get these flirts even if you're just friends and have never flirted before. I won't deny in some cases, I felt a little weirded out when companions I've never flirted with just jumped on me like I was a hunk of meat. Looking at you, Lazel. I smell their blood on you still. I smell your sweat. I mean to taste it. The only thing that sucks about this scene to me is that some of the lines feel out of place. For instance, I'd really like him to be a bit more serious when you're giving him such a nice compliment as saying he's beautiful. Ironically, they show a more serious version in one of the other options when he thinks you're comparing him to a grandma. Just tell me I'm beautiful and we can call it a day. And I also feel like he should tell you that you're not so bad either when you do tell him he's beautiful. It's a really hard thing to choose between a star and actually complimenting your looks and hearing that beautiful line about being reflected in someone's eyes. Why can't we just have both for picking the nicest option, you know? But minor complaints aside, and do believe me, they're very minor. The overall tone of the scene is freaking amazing. I always measure how well the scene is done by the character's expression, dialogue, and even your own choices and how they respond accordingly. If I'm sitting here getting embarrassed and finding myself being completely sucked in by the moment, then it's an excellent scene. It's crazy how Larian has managed to sculpt such a fine man here. There are little things that don't fit sometimes, but I think that's always going to happen, you know, until everything has been completely fine-tuned. And that's why I like to make these videos too, because I always hope they're watching and can give me, and all of you Astarian fans too, of course, more of what we want. And they're obviously listening because of how much extra Starian content we got in Patch 5. Ugh, I'm just dying to see the relationship consummated in that romance scene, though. Like, legit dying. Please, Larian, lift the under-construction scene. At least give me my kiss back. I'm still working on getting that Scars scene. I haven't had a chance to finish any consecutive games yet in BG3, and I'm hoping the next one will actually give me the scene so I don't waste a ton of time trying to get it. 
to no avail. What I would give to have debug mode so I could actually pinpoint these scenes. On another note, I am so excited because recently I got a pen display. I have wanted one for so long, but I wasn't able to justify the expense to myself. After looking into finding some artists to do art for my book characters though, and seeing how much it would cost, I decided, screw it, I'm gonna do it myself. I am a longtime artist, but I work in traditional art and haven't had a space to actually paint for a while now since most of it was packed up and still is before and after the move now. I haven't messed around much with digital art though, so I was happy to see that the real life skill definitely translates to the digital medium. And I've been busy working on creating my new characters from my books. I'm also trying and failing miserably to not get distracted by painting a starion. <laughs> I keep thinking about a specific picture I want to do. Oh, that's definitely going to have to happen soon. If you want to see any of these works in progress, I'm going to be posting them on my Patreon as well as chapters of the new books. Chapter one of Legionnaires is public now. So if you want to check it out for free, the link is in the info below. Chapter one of Dawn Singer, which is the title of my new fantasy novel, will be coming out very soon. I still have some proofing to do, but it's mostly ready. The male lead for that book is super hot and I've been having trouble wanting to work on anything else. I've even been watching period drama shows to keep up on my old timey dialect because it's fantasy and has an 18th century vibe. Oh yeah, I'm rambling again and almost forgot to thank my amazing Patreons. And thank you so much for your continued support. And if you would like to support the channel too, as well as all of my other creative endeavors, head on over to my Patreon. The link is in the info below and you know I'm gonna flash it on the screen too. <laughs> Thank you all so much for spending some time with me and until next time, I'll see you later.